Right then, guys. <laughs> Morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, right, this BMW RC car, um, you all, well, some of you may have seen it before. It's, it's just a tie grade sort of uh, model. I've done a few bits and pieces to it before, but um, I'll show you. That was the remote for it. Just on off left right does it well um this is now the remote for it um use this on the boat so i thought right i'm uh i'm going to swap out the, the uh the electronics inside and put um a proportional digital um setup in there so we'll have, instead of on off steering, we'll have proper steering, proportional, and um, I'm going to put in this motor, I don't know if you can read that properly, it's a Evolution 2 motor, uh, sprint motor, I did put one in there, but um, so I've just taken this out of an old car, so obviously I'm going to have to get the pinion gear on it. So I'm going to have to take the one out of there because I need the, uh, the I need the pinion for it. I'm going to have to heat it up and then get it onto this motor, and we can uh, swap it out. So let's get on with it and have a little look at what we can do. Right. I can basically show you what, what I've done so far and then what I've got to do. So, oh, hang on. Right, okay, here's the old gubbins that I took out of it with this uh, horrible off and on sort of left and right <laughs> steer. It's full lock one way, full lock the other way. Um, I'm not going to throw that out because I'll keep it. Maybe I'll use this on the boat. So, um, there's that. So I'll keep that with the controller to one side. Um, right, so servos in. I've had to alter the steering arms and make a new one for this side to get it uh, all to work because it was miles off this adjustment thing in the middle that's no longer needed so I'll be taking that out I've had to uh, make the board fit uh, next job now is to strip out the strip out the motor in there and uh, get it changed right after much heat going into it <laughs> this uh, took a lot longer than I was planning it to so uh yeah, we'll skip to uh, the part where it's uh, where it's done. Okay, guys, finally got it off. Uh, it's giving me a bit of stick, so all I've got to do now is uh, focus. All I've got to do now is get that onto there, and we're uh, good to go. So I'm going to take it over the uh, over the bench there and get it on. I'll catch you in a moment. Okay, uh, managed to get it on little filing to do on the end it's still rather warm at the moment so uh am going to make myself a brew and let that cool ok now I'm just looking should I should I um swap out these diffs this one is like a good quality one and uh, obviously this one's a tie grade one I think I'll leave it like it is for now actually. Yeah, I'll leave it like it is for now. If I get any problems, I'll see what I can do at a later date. And uh, yeah, instead of screwing this body on, I may chop out these because I've actually found uh, a pair of mounts which actually line up 
that's the front one they actually line up on there absolutely perfect front and rears so may put a set of body mounts on just because like in it right moment of truth now get this motor back in here it's actually a cover so uh -huh -huh. there it is bracket to hold it in I need that right which way around it's a bit of a tight squeeze with the tyre still on As you can see, but um, <laughs> believe it or not, guys, with that sticker is on, yeah. I've got trouble getting it in. That's what she said. Right. Okay. Right, gonna force this in. Um, maybe get a pipe wrench on it. Catch you in a bit. Okay, we're in. Um, I think I should probably test this before I put it all back together. So let's get it plugged in. Okay, we'll put that on there. Let me just uh, find the battery and I'll be back with it. Right, okay, coffee's going cold, but uh, let's, I've got it plugged in, just this uh, rechargeable batteries, just give me enough, it should, <coughs> just to uh, test it. Backwards. Okay. Awesome. I'll turn the car off first because the wheels are locked to the right otherwise and I haven't quite finished the I haven't quite finished the steering. I'll show you in a sec. Coffee's still going cold. Um, yeah, like I said, I think I've already showed you this, but I've had to make make some, but they're all nice. I mean, you've got a bit of wear. Well, that's just the toy grade wheels for you. Uh, okay, so that's working. I don't think I can get the cover back on though. I'm pretty sure the cap won't fit. This motor must be slightly, only ever so slightly thicker than the other one. So, gonna have to just put some screws through there to hold it in. I can't see it going anywhere though, in all honesty. Let's get on with it anyway. Okay, before I put back on the I don't know where they are for these screws are gone before I put this uh, back on to hold that lock together and the suspension and everything I might change those springs actually uh, change them shocks for some proper shocks I've got some oil filled ones here don't know whether I can hobbly oil them into it maybe not um, yeah, well, it doesn't reach, so I'm gonna have to extend one of these. Let's get on with that a minute then. Okay, just uh, about to get this lot soldered up. Got the heat shrink and on and everything. We've chopped the uh, thing, chopped the wires. So I strip these off, join it together. Should be uh, should be good to go. All right, okay, guys, we've got it. 
soldered up. <clears throat> I've had to use this really, really horrible lead-free solder because I cannot find my other roll that I had last night. <laughs> so, gonna run these wires. Oops, run these wires through there. And we should be good to test. Right, so here's a mad situation, guys. Um, I just tested it. Uh, all works, works fine. But when I the forwards and backwards are around the wrong way, so I, <laughs> I'll just check in. I haven't made any mistake with the wiring, but it all seems how it should be. So obviously, a different issue with the there somewhere. I'll try and figure this out. Okay, this is this is doing my nothing. Can't find anything wrong. So that's forwards, yeah. Wheels are going backwards. Push backwards. They go forwards. I mean, it'll be okay once I get used to it. I just want to know what's wrong with it and rather put it back properly if I can. Well, this is odd. It was working as it was. And all I've done is change the motor. Mm, stranger. Okay, I'm going to do something. This uh, sounds a bit weird, but... I'm going to put the wires on the wrong way and see if that cures it. Okay guys, so as you can see, the wires are the wrong way around. Oh, so I'll cure that uh, particular problem in a weird kind of way. Now, right, I don't actually need body mounts on this car. Um, I just want to put them on, but I'm not going to put them on yet because, um, I want to just make sure it's all working tidy and, uh, maybe get that thing on there somehow. Alright, solder them up with a crappy solder and, uh, we will test it properly. Okay, I've just had to rewire the uh, <coughs> rewire the battery compartment. Not sure what the problem was, but it wasn't working. So I'm going to be running off these uh, three of these. So it should be good if I can get it to work. Okay, guys, it's working. Check it out. Give it a blast. Right, I've got a bit of an issue <laughs> issue in the kitchen, guys. I can't get it fast. Like, I'm only touching it. Uh, needs to be outside, so... <sighs> give it a blast. Okay, guys, so I'm at my uh, local test spot. So, uh... Give them a test. I'm not expecting it to be brilliant because that shell does weigh a ton compared to the, uh, the uh, compared to a, a proper one. This uh, really heavy, but yeah, let's just try it. It should be a little bit better. My friends, I'm not sure how much of that came out because I forgot to press record. Let's, uh, let's test it out, yeah. Try and sort this trim out a bit. Yeah, as you can see, that guy's a little bit bumpy, but uh, everything works, which is the main uh, idea.
Um, it's a little bit bumpy by here. There is smoother road just over there, so let me just reposition the camera. Right, and we'll give that a shot there. Like I say, this body being a lot heavier than it's supposed to be. It's not bad. And everything's all working. Which is good. And it's died. It has died. Right. Oh, it's not dead. Perhaps the battery's again a bit warm. I haven't got a voltmeter on there yet. These are hours, it can't be out of range. Not already. Right. Let's try that there then. Right, I'm going to see how warm these batteries are. And, uh, yeah, there we go, looking good so far. I'll take it home and finish the project, get the body mounts on, and um, whatever. I may have a look around to see what shells I've got there, actually, because that one, like I said, is really heavy. Let's just have a play for a minute. Alright, okay, we just... Just check the batteries, they're not hot, so we're good to go. It does seem to be... I think probably the batteries need to cool down a bit in between, so... Uh, never mind. That's what I'm going to do. Short burst and uh, and then carry it on. Right, I'll catch you. Uh, probably see you at the uh, at the workshop, right, guys? Okay, guys, I'm very gonna very quickly uh, wrap up this video. Um, I discovered why the motor was going backwards. It was because the motor in this car is on this side and the one I took it out of, it was on that side. So I'm assuming it's spinning the uh, wrong way. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to call this done for now. And uh, maybe I'll get back to it at a later date. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.